Hi Capricorn, you are with Healing Dove Tarot and my name is Alison. Today we're going to have a look at the energy surrounding you at the Sagittarius full moon. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know this full moon is all about um, releasing, purging of old disappointments, okay? I'm so excited it's here. It's a fantastic time to let go of any dreams, of wishes that you've had that have been unfulfilled. Um, it's just time to let it go, okay? At the same time, Mercury enters its home sign of Gemini, which is all about um, communication, intellect, and higher understanding. It's basically a new phase of our thoughts and our beliefs. Um, the best way I can explain the energy is that uh, imagine if you're able to look at things that once caused you grief and strife, now with um, clear eyes, seeing only possibilities, opportunities, and new adventures. It's pretty exciting stuff. Um, and you know, the truth is, if you can use this, this energy around this full moon and, and really harness its potential, you can really start to see your life in a whole new way. All right, Capricorn. So let's dig into the energies for you um, and have a look at what's coming up. Um, thank you, universe. Thank you, angels. Please show me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Capricorn at this Sagittarius full moon. Please show me what does Capricorn need to know. I pulled that because it flipped and I could see it. And um, it is the world card. End of a cycle. Okay. Wow, major arcana, Capricorn. All major arcana so far. Wow, that doesn't surprise me. Saturn's in your sign. Pluto's in your sign. Everyone's in your sign. <laughs> Please show me. Okay. That's too many. What does Capricorn need to know? Please show me. Wow. Big energy. Yeah. Can I have one more in the outcome, please? Wow, Capricorn, what a reading. There it is. Ace of Water. Capricorn, my goodness. I think this is my favorite reading yet. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles talks in the upright about... Um, <laughs> my single um, uh, independent woman, right? She's abundant. She has everything that she needs. She's a goddess. She doesn't, she doesn't need any relationship, any connection. But it is in the reverse. So it's showing me that you are coming out of this period of, of isolation. Some of you, you could have gone through a breakup. And if I do remember correctly... Um, I do so many readings, but your love reading was talking about healing from a broken heart. And I can see that here very clearly. Um, you're now coming out of this feeling of isolation and you're ready to open up your heart again. Okay. And you have it coupled with the sun card. So, um, you know, it's like the universe, uh, you have one, two, three, four, Four major arcanas in a six card spread and then underneath that you have the sun which is the very best card you can get in the entire deck. It shines a light of happiness on you and underneath that you have the star. So Capricorns, I know it's been challenging. My goodness, have you had some challenging energy for the past couple of years? People don't even seem to understand what you've been through. I get it. Um, but it's now you're stepping into your time. Okay. This very last final lesson, whatever it is that you've been through this heartbreak, it's like your final one. Okay. You're about to step into this whole new world. And I say that because you go from the star and the sun, literally 17, 19, letting go of this energy of being alone and being isolated into the number 21 of the world. You are completing a cycle, a life lesson Capricorn, and it is big. And it is big because of all the cards that are around you, okay? In your past, you had the two of fire needing to make a decision, a choice, coupled with um, the card of patience, of temperance, okay? So it's like 
you needed to make a big, big life decision and choice and you have made it and now you're ending that cycle and you're ready to move forward. Um, and I say that because it comes in with two other major arcanas, the chariot and the hermit. So the chariot is literally the card of cancer. In terms of signs, just so you know, you have Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer and Virgo surrounding you. Okay. Now, and as I said, the, the chariot card is a sign of cancer. It's literally my yes card, my moving forward. You've ended this cycle. And it's like now you're moving forward um, and you've made a decision. You're coming out of solitude and, and you're like, yep, I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly what I'm meant to be doing. I'm letting go of old disappointments, of hurts, of that heartbreak. You've healed. I see the star. I see that you've come into this clarity of the sun. The light's been shining for you. You've had this moment, this like ah, light bulb moment. And now you see the path forward. Now, it could be that you're moving away from a Virgo literally like you're cutting a Virgo out of your life or it could mean that you're moving towards a Virgo or that a Virgo is coming back in I'm not sure which way it pertains to you but you've made a choice something to do with a Virgo or a Cancer and you've made a choice about moving forward okay now whenever I see the world card with so much major arcana so much major life change um, it's important to know that it's never easy, okay? And you are leaving this period going into the new moon with the Ten of Fire, the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Fire in the upright speaks about carrying a heavy burden, okay? And it's this guy in traditional tarot that's got all these wands on his back and he's like, literally cannot, it's like pick up sticks but I can't hold my sticks anymore. It's like, I can't hold the burden anymore. I can't get to the end. I can't do anything about it. Now, what this is saying to me in the reverse is that you finally dropped all of those things and you've admitted that maybe you don't have it all together and that's okay and you're willing to let a lot of that stuff go because it's no longer serving you. Um, it's not easy when you transition from a really powerful, divinely guided choice out of that energy into the new, okay? But you're letting it go you're shedding it and it's um, going to bring you new beginnings, literally in the form of love. You have the Ace of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, so this is a brand new beginning in love. It's just what a reading to go from the world of endings of a cycle completing, of finishing one, and then literally in the matter of a couple of weeks going into this brand new beginning at this new moon, um, this new moon that's coming up is going to be really potent and strong for you, Capricorn. Okay, it is the middle of your year of solstice, so um, solstice, so it is going to um, affect you spiritually. Just know that, um, especially with all this other divinely guided energy that's around you. Um, now, the Ace of Cups can literally mean a brand new beginning when it comes to love. It can also mean a resurrection of a love. Okay, it could mean a reconciliation. Um, it's like you've had patience in the past. You've had to make a decision, although you didn't want to, you could be reconciling with a cancer, a Virgo, a Sagittarius, a Leo, um, signs are irrelevant, but there is an opportunity for reconciliation or it is an absolutely brand new beginning in love relationships, commitment. And, um, I have to be honest, I couldn't be happier for you <laughs> after all the heartbreak and that you've been through. It's your time Capricorn. All right, so let's have a look at what the additional meanings are for Capricorn under this Sagittarius full moon. Two cards, please show me what are the additional meanings for Capricorn under the Sagittarius full moon. Thank you, universe. Thank you, angels. Okay, so we have the card of influence. Straight away, of course, I see the dove, but I am healing dove tarot, and that's my... Um, that's my spirit animal, my spirit guide. But look at how connected she is. He's got like the heart, the, the key to love in his chest, this dove. And she's holding all the spirit and wisdom in her third eye. It's a really beautiful card. So let's read this and see what the messages are for you, Capricorn. Influence. I'm so happy for you. What a great reading. This is just fantastic. Okay. And look at the moons up the top, do you see? The cycle of the moon, full moon in the, in the middle. <laughs> um, influence. Balance imagination and reality. 
be cautious of giving undue influence to baseless assumption. Distinguish between opinion and evidence. Become aware of false limitations. That's limitations of self, Capricorn. Put real effort into proving a doubt or fear wrong. Be open to new ideas and perspectives, but do your homework and ensure a claim can hold true in practice as well as theory. Only through the eyes of the soul can the true nature of your life, existence and purpose be known. All of life flows from one divine heart of creation. You have a purpose, a meaning and a role to play in this great journey of life. It may be beyond the knowing of the physical world, but it is not beyond the knowing of your soul. Wow, Capricorn, you know, if this is not to do with love, this is really about your life purpose and whatever it is, this heartbreak that's put you through, you are stepping into this knowing. Um, beautiful energy. I, I just, I couldn't be more happy for you. Gorgeous reading, Capricorns. If it resonates, please write in the comments below. If you have healed from your heartbreak, I want to hear about it. Um, I wish you love and light and I am going to do the love readings in a couple of days. So I'll be back with you soon. Okay, thanks. Take care.